right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm back once again. Hey, Curdy Cool. I'm back again. I feel like I gotta talk about this stuff once again. Y'all like the outfit? Curdy Cool, back again. I feel like if I don't talk about this parental alienation, hey, look, you know, nobody else will. That's that's just the way that I feel about it. I mean, this stuff is serious, man. Everybody's talking about this R. Kelly, about the man in the closet. Come on now, come on now. Just break the cycle and just do that little spin and just come on back over here, baby. Come on, forget about R. Kelly. Put R. Kelly on the shelf and let's talk about this parental alienation now. Now this parental alienation been going on for some years now. I'm back on this Patricia Robinson baby scam, parental alienation. This woman, Patricia, Marsha Robinson, Patricia, Anna Robinson, Patty Robinson, Patty. Man, this woman has parental alienated my 12-year-old kid away from me at birth now. Hey, here I am, a good man. Just taking care of business. The whole family just throw down and just turn on a brother for no reason, man. Everybody turn on me. And then you got the baby mother. I mean, I'm not, I'm not hating on my baby mother. But it's something you got to understand. When a mother has this set in her mind to parental alienate their kid away from the father. I mean, it, it, it's something going on upstairs between the baby mother and this dog ass adopted grandmother now. I mean, here it is, a good man. Now, from my understanding, Patricia Robinson was going to Purpose Church out in Pomona, California. Now, this woman's supposed to be minding kids, working in the church, and doing all this kind of stuff. And then she dogging fathers out. At the same time, parental alienated my kid away from me and dogged me out. And run out all over California and hide out. Now the whole family is hating on Curdy Cool. Check this out, Will. Now, Veronica Robinson haven't called her baby father in 12 years. This woman, now, world, y'all tell me about this. This woman has been getting child support for 12 years on time. Patricia Robinson has been getting child support for 12 years on time. Now, these people are so twisted, their mind is turned inside out like a goddamn mean whirlwind because they don't know their left foot from their right foot. Hey, hey, this man got a kid over here who loves his kid. I mean, this man is not trying to take his kid away from the baby mother? I mean, that's not my style. I mean, I'm a for real man, 100%. Yeah, for real. Now these dog ass guys, these people are used to dealing with, ladies, I mean, there's some good men out there. And I happens to be one of the ones who was brought up into a good home and was taught to love your family, your kids, and do the right thing. But it's always some woman, some baby mother, some adopted mother who are going to abuse the system just to get paid. And then dog the father out, get all this money and run it high. What's, what's the purpose of it? What is the purpose of all this parental alienation? I mean, I, I, I wish somebody would tell me what's the purpose a parental alienating curdy cool kid away from me, baby. But what, what's what's the purpose? What what y'all trying to break me down? I mean they thought they broke me down. I mean, you know, 
I mean, when that shit first went down, I was kind of like that Tokyo Tony. Man, I had Jane Brown, I mean, to the teeth. Please, please, baby, please, please, let me see my baby, please, please. Oh, man, the more I said, please, please, the more they got lost. And they was only thinking about the cost and the dollar bill is going to be in my pocket and having that baby. You know what I'm saying? Parental alienation. Man, this stuff is not talked about enough. I feel like the media needs to get involved with this stuff. Patricia Robinson is a bad example. I'm serious. This woman is a bad example for my kid. Now, what can you teach my 12-year-old kid? Nothing besides just hate her father when she have a loving father. I mean, ladies, guys, what can a adopted mother do? What can she teach a 12-year-old kid? Nothing but hate your father. And you got a paying father who pays child support and loves his kid. But you got a crazy-ass adopted grandmother like Patricia Robinson. She frauds child support. She scams child support. You pull it up all over the internet. She pretty much scam YouTube. I mean, you look at everybody talking about the crazy ass Patricia Robinson. See, she tried to tell everybody on the cool, on the cool, baby. I mean, you can't be like Curdy Cool, baby. You can't be like Curdy Cool, Patricia Robinson. I mean, you tried to tell everybody on the coup, don't click on Patricia Robinson because you knew the cat was getting out the bag and that the world was going to see this crooked ass Patricia Robinson for who she are. I mean, this woman scammed me. She scammed child support. She running and hiding all over California every time you look at. I mean, check, check this out now. One minute, if she feel like I'm catching up with her, she jump up and move over here. I mean, check this out, world. If she think that I'm catching up with her, she just pack up and move somewhere else. Then all of a sudden, look up. She got Marcus, the fake-ass pastor, leaving a voicemail on the house number at the house. But it's only him living at the house because she done packed up and moved somewhere else. This bitch just constantly running and hiding. Trisha Robinson, what is the purpose of a 62, 63-year-old grown-ass adopted grandmother who never could have any kids of her own. So now she steals curdy cool kid and run out and hide out and thinks she's the shit. One wicked ass witch. I'm serious, man. I, I'm just keeping it real. I don't care what you say about me and Patricia Robinson. Ain't right, man. That ain't right. So she runs and hide out. Everybody know that she messed up my baby's mother mind. I mean, what, what, what's really going on here? I mean, you got my daughter living in a mental abused home. What, what, what can you teach her? I mean, just nothing but, but hate. I'm talking about this parental alienation. You know, just hate your father, you know? Just hate your father for being a man. Just hate your father because he's your father, you know? What can a parental alienated baby mother and a fake ass adopted mother teach your kid? Nothing but hate, hate. Backstabbers, they smile in your face. All the time they wanna take your place, the backstabbers. Hey, Patricia Robinson is a backstabber, man. That, man, this woman waited up until my baby was born. And she stabbed me like a big dog. And she's running and hiding out in California. Man, this stuff is crazy. Hey, the world needs to talk about this parental alienation. I'm serious, man. Like day and night. Talk about this stuff, man. Because this parental alienation stuff is not right. And sometimes I just sit around, you know, and I, I look at this stuff, man, I'm like, and this old crazy-ass woman, Patricia, Marsha Robinson, Patricia Adamson,
Patricia Anna Robinson, whatever her name is, this woman's been hiding out for 12 years. Everybody that came through that home is messed up in the head. I'm just going to keep it real. I mean, don't you know by now, 12 years gone by, now you got a fake pastor who supposed to been came up in, into that home claiming to be a pastor, preaching up in the church, talking about saving the children, and it's all about God's word and God's messages. And yeah, uh-huh, in the beginning there was love and all this kind of stuff. You see, your crooked ass adopted mother scamming a true blood Christian father out of his kid. And you standing up in a pool pit preaching, talking about you a pastor, you a man of God. Hey, hey, world, tell me about this. It's, so, something is missing in this picture here. Now, how can you tell me a crooked ass pastor can turn around and a, admire a crooked ass adopted mother? Man, this woman scammed me out of my kid. And this pastor see this stuff. And you think he's getting this bitch straight. Hey, look, adopted mother here. What you're doing is wrong, you know, that, that ain't right. You, I mean, this man should at least be talking to his kid. I mean, that's not right. I mean, I believe I'm a man of God here. I trust in God, believe in God, but you're giving us a bad-ass reputation around here. The world is seeing us as being scammers, the whole entire family. So guess what? This pastor is so involved into this cult leader. You know, when a cult leader has a pastor mind, it's really something wrong. This man can't even talk to crooked-ass Patricia Robinson and be a real man and stop being a bullshit-ass pastor and stand up and say, hey, look, Dr. Grandma, that's wrong what you're doing. I mean, I just want to have a normal life here. I want all this attention off of my life. Just do the right thing. You know, that's all this man is asking you to do. Talk to his daughter. Stop the running and hiding out. You've been collecting money for 12 years. So, Marcus, this fake pastor, you that low life. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm getting at? I mean, I'm not down in the Christian experience and being a child of God, but when you have a so-called pastor... And he's, he's going along with all this crooked stuff. Then you sitting up in church. How you going to preach the word of God? How you going to tell me about the Bible and the word of God? And you some fake ass pastor, man. I can't understand that, man. See what I'm saying? Everybody is living a lie. So my thing is this. When somebody has your mind and brainwash you so bad. They don't give a damn about how much they hurt this person over here because this adopted grandmother, Patricia Robinson, is a narcissist and a psychopath. And this woman don't care about nobody. She did it to YouTube. Everybody talking about Patricia Robinson's panel. I'm gonna talk about this stuff. Just look at just look at it. Google it up. Patricia Robinson scam, Patricia Robinson spammer. Everybody's talking about this. If Mr. Marcus was such a down-to-earth pastor. Don't you know this man would have at least told Patricia Robinson by now? Mm -mm, what you're doing is wrong. That peremptory alienation is not cool. I understand you. You took me away from my blood father. I don't know who the hell my blood father is. I don't know who the hell my blood mother is. You know what I'm saying? So, so now you so brainwashed until you just don't give a damn because you sold out to the devil. You know what I'm saying? So in other words, a narcissist will take your mind and don't give a damn about you and manipulate and control you like a puppet on the street, even if it's wrong. And you got a so-called fake pastor going along with it, acting like he's a preacher in the church and all this kind of stuff. Man, get out of here with that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Veronica. 
Man, you should be ashamed of yourself. You got a baby mother here who is into a relationship with a grown ass man and you let somebody like witchy Patricia Robinson just take your mind after the baby is born because she's thinking that I wants to steal our kid. So she's going along. Of course, I know if if I was the type of guy who wanted my kid, trust me, I could take this shit to court and get full custody. They ain't no good. I can prove everything in a shadow of a doubt. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not that way. I don't go around parental alienating kids away from the other parent. You know what I'm saying? That's not my style. So for so for Veronica Robinson to do this to her baby father and run out. I mean, this is my true story. I mean, these people dogged me out right after Veronica had our baby Alexa Bless Henderson. She dogged me out right along with Patricia Roberts. And don't you know this bitch never called me? After she dogged me out, I'm calling and stuff, calling on the phone. Don't you know they just hid out? They parental alienated me away from my kid, and they just hid out. Hid out. And I didn't do anything to these crazy-ass people. So now, y'all getting what I'm talking about? So now... I feel like that the world needs to talk about this stuff more and more and more each day. Stand up and fight for your rights, men. Stand up and fight for your rights, women. I mean, if you are involved into this type of situation, hey, that, that, that's not cool, man. Now, let's talk about this parental alienation. Let's talk about this Patricia Robinson scam. Now, let's do something about this parental alienation. Come on now, y'all. Let, 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 let's do something about this parental alienation, man. That, that ain't cool, man. I mean, it's time for a wake-up call with these people who alienate fathers away from your kids or these fathers who parental alienate kids away from the mother it's time. It, it, it's time for something to be done about this. This stuff needs to hit the media. The government needs to be talking about this stuff. Social media needs to be talking about this stuff. Everybody needs to get on the same channel and talk about parental alienation. It's time, baby. It's time. It's time. It's too many kids messed up in the head with all this mental abuse. I know quite a few kids who have grown up and who are grown men and grown women and they still messed up to this day and all the time they have these flashbacks you know all I know about is my mama my mother I was parental alienated away from my father and there's no love between a father because they were parental alienated away from the father and I can understand that I can respect that but do you see what's going on here it's too many kids who falls into this trap and they sort of throw it off, man. They, you know, one minute, they're okay. Then all of a sudden, you know, all of a sudden they, they start flipping and tripping and talking about all that shit that happened to them in the past with all this parental alienation. But they fail to realize it wasn't you, the father, who, who did that to them. Why can't they recognize that the father did not parental alienated you away from your, your father? Your mother did that. But see, this world has just been caught up into this type of situation for so long until everybody begins to just want to just dog the fathers out. You got the mothers that dog the fathers out. Now you got the kids want to dog the fathers out. I mean, there's no love, there's no understanding, there's no respect. You can't talk to your father. Your father didn't parentalinate you. Your father was begging to be in your life. You know, what, what's so hard to understand about that? Your father was begging 
to be in your life and this dog baby mother just dog the father out. Might as well say when this baby mother dogged the father out, she dogged out the kid on the cool because he is the one stuck with being mental abuse. You think about it. You messed up in the head and you feel your pain with that absentee of not having your father. And this stuff kind of comes and goes in your mind. You know, I, I, wanted, I wanted to love with my father. I wanted my father to see me at the gym and see me playing basketball and come and show some love and support and me playing basketball, me playing football. I wanted my father, you know. Everybody else had their father. Everybody was having a good time with their father. I, I didn't have that. So what happened to me? So now that stuff come back on your mind. You know, why, why, why did my mother do that to me? Then, then now, check this out. Now they see the father and then they just try to flip it all the way around talking about it. it's the father's fault. And the father didn't do a damn thing but try to be a father. You know, with all that stuff they created, all them problems they created, but they never tell the truth. So the bottom line here, world, is that parental alienation is destroying the world. Parental alienation is wiping out the world. Parental alienation is of the devil. And, man, how could I say Patricia Robinson should understand and feel my pain? When you got a narcissist, they don't feel nobody pain until the good Lord slap them down to the knees. They don't feel nobody pain. They can care less about what I feel. Patricia Robinson could care less about how I feel and how my 12 year old daughter feel, Alexa Henderson. All she would try to do is sugarcoat everything. Baby, baby, your father, and, and do a whole lot of brainwashing. Yo, 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 your father this and your father that. It's all over the internet that Alexa's father was really trying so hard in the way they did me. And if I was Alexa Henderson, I would write my story from the time you are old enough to see what's going on from the time that all those years of what happened to you. Just tell your story. Write yourself a book, Alexa Henderson. I don't care if you're 12 years old. You're smart enough to write. Just write your story. Hide it out at your school or, or at a friend's house or whatever. Write your story, Alexa Henderson. I feel like six years from now, you will be 18 years old. Now, you tell your story. Alexa Henderson because hey six seven years from now you'll be able to just get away from that Patricia Robinson and daddy will shoot a movie about this grandmother baby scam and with Alexa Henderson coming back into the picture telling her story she can get all her friends we can hook up and do a movie and do this stuff all over again because I want Alexa to tell her story her side of the story what they did to her. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, this this world is about helping people. And, and helping folks be able to recognize this situation with parental alienation and making this world a better world. It's not about all this, you know, the mother is, is parental alienating the kid away from the father. This old crazy ass adopted grandmother Patricia Robinson parental alienate my daughter away from her father because Patricia Robinson don't give a damn. She don't give a damn about herself. So how could she give a damn about my daughter? When you got somebody who does something like this, they don't care about themselves. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my show. Hey, put this parental alienation out there. Put it out there. I'm just going to tell my story. I'm going to keep on talking about this stuff as much as I can. So anyway, get ready for the next episode. I'll see you in the next episode. What's my slogan, baby? Curdy cool. Okay, bye. Peace, love, and happiness, baby. Okay, bye.